My name is Hugh Mulcahy. I'm a professor of clinical medicine in University College Dublin and a consultant gastroenterologist in St. Vincent's University Hospital Dublin. Crohn's and colitis patients suffer increased rates of uh, psychological disability compared with normal population controls. Stress, anxiety and depression are more common in inflammatory bowel disease patients and this not only causes significant mental health disability but may also result in physical disability. A Swedish study indicates that young men who are stressed tend to have a higher incidence of Crohn's disease and colitis later in life, while a recent study in gastroenterology shows that anxious patients with quiescent disease at baseline tend to have an increased need for subsequent treatment and an increased incidence of flares over the subsequent years. Both American and European healthcare agencies recommend provision of psychological services within a multidisciplinary framework to treat a range of psychosocial disabilities. Notwithstanding this, present recommendations are necessarily somewhat generic because of a lack of appropriate randomised controlled mm -hmm. trials of potential therapies in IBD populations. Hypnotherapy, mindfulness-based treatments and cognitive behavioural therapy have all been assessed. However, reviewers have identified substantial limitations to virtually all studies performed to date, with many underpowered, uncontrolled, non-randomised, without inclusion or exclusion criteria, and without data on disease type, location, medications, disease activity, programme protocols or course personnel, thereby compromising study validity. The aim of our trial, conducted to consort standards, was to assess the effect of acceptance and commitment therapy on psychological stress in IBD subjects. I'm Louise McHugh and I'm an Associate Professor in the School of Psychology at University College Dublin. Acceptance and commitment therapy is my area of research and I've been conducting research in this area for over 15 years. Acceptance and commitment therapy is a form of cognitive behavioural therapy. At its core, acceptance and commitment therapy aims to increase psychological flexibility. To date, there are over 200 randomised control trials using acceptance and commitment therapy with different populations. However, until this study, no trial has looked at using acceptance and commitment therapy with patients with inflammatory bowel disease. The ACT course was rolled out across eight weeks. Each group comprised 14 to 16 patients. Each session was 90 minutes long and consisted of exercises and interactive lessons that helped increase patients' psychological flexibility and decrease their psychological distress. For this trial, patients were recruited from an inflammatory bowel disease clinic in St. Vincent's University Hospital. Patients were randomised to one of two groups, an active group who received standard medical care in addition to an eight-week acceptance and commitment therapy course, and a control group who received standard medical care. Patients were assessed at time zero, week eight and week 20. The primary outcome measure was stress, measured using the depression, anxiety and stress scale. Anxiety, depression, quality of life and disease activity measured both objectively and subjectively were also measured at these three time points. Finally, hair was taken at time zero and at the end of study to measure hair cortisol, an objective measure of disease stress. 122 subjects were randomised, 61 each to the treatment and control groups. In the treatment group, the primary outcome measure stress decreased by 39% at 8 weeks and 45% at 20 weeks, with a significant overall decrease in stress levels in the treatment group over time. Stress decreased by 8% and 11% in the control group at 8 and 20 weeks respectively, but these changes were not significant. In the treatment group, depression scores decreased by 47% and 45% from baseline to 8 and 20 weeks. It was notable that both subjective and objective disease activity remained stable over the study period in both groups, indicating that any change in stress was related to the ACT programme rather than any confounding interaction with disease course. Finally, hair cortisol was associated with stress and anxiety at baseline but did not change over the course of the 20-week follow-up period. The present results indicate that an eight-week acceptance and commitment therapy course reduces stress and improves indices of psychological dysfunction. This emphasises the need for researchers and clinicians to develop and optimise the content and delivery of psychological programmes for inflammatory bowel disease patients. 
we do hope you find this research paper interesting and that it impacts upon your future research and clinical practice.